making an original Padlet. After you've set up your Padlet account, you're ready to make your first Padlet. First, click on the Make a Padlet button. Your free account will allow you to make three Padlets. Select a format option. This is how your content will be presented on your Padlet. You can change the format at any time. You're not committed to the format you begin with. I'll start with Canvas. You can see the Padlet gives you a default design, but over on the right side of your screen, you'll see your dashboard that allows you to customize your Padlet wall. Here you can change the title, description, URL, font, and color scheme, as well as add your own icon and wallpaper. This demonstration will focus on how to change your wallpaper and add information sources to your Padlet, but you can play around with the other features to design your Padlet to your preference. Like the format, you can change any of these design elements at any time. You can see Padlet gives you a default wallpaper, as well as other wallpaper options. You can also add your own wallpaper using an image outside the platform. To do that, I want to locate an image on the web and then open it in a new tab. I do this to isolate the image and get the URL for the image file itself. Then I copy and paste the link into Padlet and it uploads the image as my wallpaper. Once I'm satisfied with the other elements of my Padlet for now, I'm ready to start adding information sources. First, I want to add a content box to my wall. Then I want to embed a web source. To do this, I'll use the same sequence I used to add my wallpaper. Find the source on the web, copy the link, and paste it into Padlet. I'll show you an example. You'll repeat this process as you continue to find sources. To add an article from a database to your Padlet, you'll use the Upload PDF feature, which looks like this. You can see that Padlet has embedded the full article
onto your wall. Padlet is a digital curation platform that benefits your research. It's a way to save your sources as you find them. Effective research will require you to consult several sources that don't end up in your final paper. As you find something of interest, save it right away by embedding it in your Padlet. This way, you don't have to track it down again when you're ready to explore it further. Also, as you add sources, you can get a visual of the kinds of sources you have and how they relate to each other. If you associate a source with a concept in your research question, you can also visualize the gaps in your research and where you need to go next. This space, this space lets you test and tweak your topic and add and eliminate sources as your research develops. Remember, Padlet is a valuable research tool that allows you to save and access your sources throughout your research process. It also allows you to present your research in a format that is accessible, dynamic, and visually appealing.